Hello and welcome to this 10 minute video guide on how to operate O3 and set up a threshold public goods game. The following steps are required to run a local test server of the game. The first step is to open PyCharm and locate the O3 folder. In my case, the O3 folder is located on my desktop, as you can see right here. It also shows in the top of the O3 file where it is located. The second step is to select your preferred treatment and language. We will be doing the exogenous version in English, and then we will open models to make some adjustments to the parameters. We will change the number of rounds from 12 to 3, and also make some changes to the phases to hold three rounds in total. Phase 1 will be round 1, phase 2 will be round 2, and phase 3 will be round 3. After that we will check the rooms and edit the participation label file called pggxo.txt and we will be adding four dummy testers. I will name the dummy testers Brian, Lisa, Tom and Marie. They will be playing the game. Now, these are all the things that are required in PyCharm itself, so now it's time to start the application. We do a window search for CMD to open the command prompt. After that, we will use CD, which is short for change directory, to navigate to the old tree folder. First, we navigate to the desktop and then navigate to O3. So we are working inside the folder. After that, you write O3 reset database db to reset all the data. So we have empty tables everywhere. Yes. Once it's been reset, you type O3 run server to start up the server and a link will be appearing right here which you select and press enter to copy it to your clipboard and it's time to paste that address into your internet browser that will be creating a control panel for the administrators we will go to the rooms tab and select the exogenous room. In this room tab, we have an option to look for the exogenous version in English and select four participants and create the game. Down here is a link which is shared with every participant. So all these links are copied four times so we have four instances of the game running the participant label those are the names that are of the players which are Brian as player one Lisa as player two Tom is player three and Marie is player four but if we call it Maria it says invalid participant label, which is not possible, so Marie is going to be able to access the game. The first step of the game is an introduction where the players are shown the distribution rules and which one is more fair or easier to understand. This is to get the participants on their way. To progress to the actual game, they have to all be selected. Now it is time for phase one. Phase one consists of one rounds. The distribution rule is equal share of the bonus. Now, as admin, you can monitor the pages the players are on by going to the monitor tab and you will see where the players are at and you can even advance them to make the game go faster. 
Round 1. The threshold is 30 points. The 30 points on exogenous comes from the models. As you can see here, threshold exo equals 30 round 1, 30 round 2, 30 round 3, etc. So they can be changed in the models. Now back to the website. Player 1 will be doing a contribution of 10. Player 2 will be doing no contribution at all. Player 3, 15. And player 4, 10, for example. Now, here you see a table with the contributions of the players and their payoffs. Since the total group contribution is 35, which is higher than the threshold being 30, they will receive the group bonus of 48 points, which is shared among all the players. Now, to continue to the next phase, phase 2 is one round, and during this phase, the distribution rule is equal payoff. So here we have a threshold of 30 again. Note, round two, the threshold is 30. During equal payoff, I will try to not reach the payoff this time, the threshold this time, and see what happens in that case. So, as you can see, the total group bonus is zero points. Since player one and player two did not contribute anything, they will keep their endowment being 20 points each. Now, to the final stage. This one is where the majority vote will decide the rule, so players get to decide whether they want equal share of the bonus or equal payoff. Player 1, Brian, he wants equal payoff. Lisa also wants equal payoff. Tom also wants equal payoff. And Marie, she wants equal share of the bonus. Now, the majority, of course, is equal payoff. So that will be the distribution rule for phase 3 being round three. As you can see, here's a timer which automatically loads the next page if there's no input required of the participants. Since we did not reach the threshold last game, last round, we will do it this time to see what happens. Now, you can see here, the total contribution is higher than the threshold by a large margin, so the group bonus is activated, and each player will get equal payoff being 16.3. Since this was the last round of the game, next is the results page, the total earnings of player 1 is 11.2 euros. For player 2, that is 11.8 euros, player 3, 8.8 .8 euros, and player 4 gets 10 euros. As admin, you can follow these payments on the payments page in more details. Brian, you will be receiving 11.2, etc. Now, once the experiment is finished, you can click data and check all the input given throughout the whole experiment. You can download it by clicking on this button right here, download it for Excel or CSV format, Excel, and you can save it. With that, it's all finished and you can use the data to make all sorts of 
nice um, things.